There are many ways of solving any given problem, and yeah, you could try memorize all the formulas they tell you to memorize for DAT. Good luck with that. But there's only one way to break units open. So instead of wasting time trying to recall formulas on DAT, break units open and use dimensional analysis to solve any problem easily and quickly. I'll show you what I mean with this DAT question. If a 30 volt voltaic cell registers a current of 9 amps in the conduit from anode to cathode, as measured by the ammeter over a 2 second period, how much energy is the battery supplying during that time period? That's a lot to process, and then have to recall a formula to use to solve this? Well, no worries. The question's asking for energy, but more importantly, the answer choices all have units of joules. So now let's see what we're given in the question stem. We have 30 volts, 9 amps, and 2 seconds. Well, volts is a unit that always breaks open into joules per coulomb. And right away, we see that we have joules, which is needed in our answers. And amps is a unit that always breaks open into coulombs per second. And we see that we have the coulombs that was in our volts unit. And we have seconds in the question stem. So now, simply start dimensional analysis with the 30 joules per coulomb to ensure that the joules is on the top, which is where it has to be if it's going to be in the answer, and then place the 9 coulombs per second next to it so that the coulombs are on top of each other so they cancel out, and then place the 2 seconds next to that so that the seconds are on top of each other so that they cancel out. And now that we're left with only joules, we simply multiply to get 540 joules, making E the correct answer. Simple as that. In the description below this video is a link to Amazon to get your own DAT without memorizing formulas book with tons of practice and detailed solutions so you can solve DAT questions easily and quickly.